Hi, my name is Michael Lee. I'm the product designer in the code review group. And today I'll be talking about some proposals to uh, update the interaction for the enhanced uh, reviewer assignment drawer. So right now, this is what we have. Uh, we have uh, the drawer that pops up on the side. Some of the feedback is that like it's hard to assign the specific reviewer because uh, you have to, the clicks is, is it's an additional click. Um, that's fair. Um, the, the goal that we were trying to go for was to allow you to have a way to select um, the required approvals. So for example, right now we have this table uh, that's in the approval widget. Um, this is required, but there's no way to select one of these 230 people on here. Um, you have to uh, go into the reviewers and try to search on who this is. So now we have this scoped um, way of adding people. And I think this is where things get a little bit confusing, where we optimized for this, but we kind of made this suffer at the same time. Uh, so this as in like adding a reviewer, if you know who you're trying to review, because we assume that most people do not and are using approval rules, but that's not the case for every team. Um, so let's see how this scenario may look if I separate uh, the assignment of approvers and reviewers as separate entities. So let's go into this example here. I'm just going to restart this and here, um, I'm into this page. Um, I have the approval widget here. I have the approval merge check and I have something new here called approvals. And here it says I am missing, I only have zero of one approval. So I'm, I'm waiting for one. Um, and I have these new buttons, assign approvers and this edit. So in this world, reviewers stays the same as it is now. If you click on this, it's just a drop down of all the eligible users who can be reviewers, and then you can add it manually. Cool. In this world, if I click on here, I have my scoped way of um, adding users. I have moved away from the plus sign to use the edit button to um, open a drop down to, for me to search on who um, could fulfill this um, approval. And that same functionality exists in other areas too. So if I'm in the approval widget before, if I expanded it out, I would see the table, which is great, but I can't assign from there. So here I'm presented with it. the drawer, which presents the similar information uh, is missing the commented by field. Um, and if that's something that we need to incorporate, um, please let me know. Uh, but in the spirit of just knowing, um, you know, what, what approvals need to be done. I can see that oh, I'm waiting for uh, Delaney's work, or if I'm approaching this from the merge check and I say, oh, I'm missing required approvals. Where do I go to right now? I would have to jump into the approval widget, um, and then figure out, oh no, I actually have to jump to this reviewers edit to add the person, but I don't know who the person is because it's not a scope search. But right now I can click on this. I'm presented the same drawer and I have the scopes uh, drop down search in here that I can assign um, the required approvers. Um, so that is the approach that um, I'm thinking that we can take right now as a way to separate um, the reviewers um, to, and approvers um, in this scenario here, Delaney was added as a reviewer um, and she shows up here because she satisfies the, the required approvals rules. Um, if we think about this in the future, and uh, this is blue sky thinking at the moment, um, there is a world where reviews and approvals actually coexist together in one section. So here we have a lovely auto assign reviewers clicks on that. It generates all the reviews that I need. Um, 
we could add a link in here to like add a reviewer manually uh, but for for the sake of this um demo we're just going to ignore that this exists and assume that like um the auto suggestion is perfect so when i come to this page now i can see that i'm missing all my approvals um and there are four pending reviews is that enough if I look in here, it looks like all the rules are going to be covered by these people and they're all in the pending state of the review. So I'm like, okay, cool. So over time, um, I can get three approvals coming in and I'm still waiting on one from Daphne. If I click on this, I can see that, oh, okay, these people satisfy their rules and it's all of these metrics ones that are still being waiting for. So this allows us to have like a relationship between reviews and approvers and a way to check to see what's pending and what's not. Um, in this world here, um, the other thing is that the approval widget is, let me go back one step, um, is no longer here. Um, the only difference that the approval widget has versus here is that the button, so we can move buttons into here. Um, it could have the revoke button if you were someone who approved. Um, and the same functionality as before in the merge check, I still think that holds true because not all required, required approvals have been given. So I can click on that and see who's missing there. So this is one way to see um, approvals and reviewers uh, coexisting in the future. But this is some blue sky thinking for the future. Thank you.